So Nintendo had uh, the, they already worked out how to make this game work with button free controls. So I was kind of shocked that instead of making a sort of Nintendo Puzzle League game using Pokemon or just Nintendo Puzzle, uh, you know, Nintendo franchises crossed over and tied in in general, instead they they decided to completely rework Dr. Mario to work with touch controls, and they were smart to not just slap Dr. Mario onto mobile with touch controls. They actually thought, okay, Dr. Mario was made with button controls and D-pad in mind. Let's rework the game to specifically use... Yeah, let's rework the game to actually take advantage of the fact that we do have a touch... Uh, a touch entirely touchscreen interface in which the player's thumbs are going to be towards the bottom of the screen so we're going to make this more about the pieces coming from the bottom like this instead of from the top and the pieces coming from the bottom is another reason i always said when as soon as nintendo announced that partnership oh we're going to start making mobile games nintendo mobile games with dna i'm like oh they're gonna go straight for puzzle league because it's a puzzle game where they already worked out how to do touch controls with it on the ds and it's a puzzle game where the pieces come in from the bottom instead of from the top. So it was especially well suited. It was more obviously more obvious of a choice for adapting to mobile than Dr. Mario. And sadly, I feel like Nintendo kept bungling how to their pricing structures for these games. Where they overpriced, they did a bad model, over-reliance on DRM, they locked up on DRM. Um, they locked. They basically disabled multi-platform protect. Like most puzzle, most mobile games. Hey, if you buy it on iOS, uh, you can play it on your iPhone, and all your purchases and in-game stuff will also apply to your tablet version on iPad. And Nintendo found a way to work around that and make it so that for each device you have to re-purchase things. That's outrageous. And the fact that if you oh if you don't have a constant internet connection, if you're playing in, inside a building or something where there's not ready Wi-Fi access or the cellular uh, data is a bit spotty, oh, it locks you out from playing the game. And that's and I remember I was sitting in a theater, I downloaded the demo for uh, Super Mario Run. Oh, well, let me, the movie, the trailer, the trailers haven't even started yet. The lights haven't even gone dark yet. Let me play, I have a few minutes, let me play, uh, try out the, uh, the uh, Super Mario Run, those, uh, those free stages they give away. And I couldn't play the game because uh, they didn't have good Wi-Fi in the theater. I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm not buying this game. If I can't rely on being able to play it on the go, which is when I'd be playing this, I'm not going to... Especially since I already carried my 3DS everywhere I, I went anyway at the time. Like, So it was like, yeah, total hard pass for that for me. Now... Uh... Yeah, so, and the fact that they charged $5 flat to buy the game was, I mean, that game got review bombed to heck just because people who were used to a mobile game environment were free to play or like 99 cent games were the norm. People were review bombing it, not based entirely on the fact that, you, oh, I can't believe Nintendo's price gouging us $5 to play this game. And on one hand, yes, that's extremely entitled bratty, like, like groan inducing nonsense right it's like oh my gosh like freak literally make me go like kids these days like can't deal with the idea of play paying more than a dollar for a game on the other hand if it's on nintendo you misjudge the market you misjudge your audience you misjudge the platform you're 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 appealing to here and because nintendo was like oh we didn't want to charge we couldn't deign to charge two do a dollar or two dollars for Super Mario Run, okay, we're gonna go the complete opposite and nickel and dime you to death for Dr. Mario. Uh, on when they made Dr. Mario, uh, uh, whatever they called the Dr. Mario game, they put out on mobile. That's now shut down. Yeah, it's I was for surprise. They didn't just like, oh yeah, they're gonna. They actually shut down the game. I didn't realize that it was a single player game that was like a, something that you could shut down. As I understand it, you can no longer download or even play that game. The Dr. Mario... Whatever Dr. Mario they made for mobile. So it's like... And then Nintendo's like, oh, we're dissatisfied 
with the uh, the the earnings on these mobile games. So we're gonna de we're gonna reduce emphasis on these mobile games. I'm like, okay, you misjudge the market with Super Mario Run and charge too much for it. So when that bombed, then you went the opposite extreme and nickel and dimed everyone to death. Where it's like, oh, you can only try so many times, or oh, you have to you get a certain number of magic crystals and you have to buy more crystals to keep playing the game. It's like you went from one bad extreme to the other, and then you wonder why you're... And then you don't do the two most... Even more more, even more even obvious than Puzzle League, what I'm playing right here. The other obvious game that should have been on mobile that you failed to take advantage of was WarioWare. If you already have WarioWare touched, where you already know how to make a WarioWare game based entirely on touchscreen play with no use of buttons whatsoever. A game that's specifically built for short bursts of gameplay and you just failed to if they came out with a, a good um, like cross like multi sort of tie-in of multiple Nintendo franchises version of Puzzle League for Game Boy Advent for uh, for mobile and also a a good uh, Wario a good mobile game a uh, mobile version of WarioWare I think they could have had some hits, and Nintendo just, I don't know, I just feel like they kind of did the bare minimum, and when they didn't, they just priced the thing, the price the game's wrong.